morning, it's uh, Jeff at Budrum here. Um, this morning I'm going to show you about my popping corn. I've just harvested, um, I only grew eight plants this year, I only got about 25 cobs off the eight plants, so that's uh, some of the better ones. Beautiful and shiny, and, but they're not ready to pop yet. Um, so what I've done is, uh, as, I ha the, as soon as I harvest them, you pull the husk back and, uh, so that they can dry out. And then when you lay them in like a cardboard box or something like that, you don't want to put them on top of each other so they get mildew. And so you want them to dry out nicely. Uh, a good test to find out if they're ready to pop is when they come off the cob quite easy. If, they, if they're still stuck to the cob, they're not ready to pop. So we've learned that the hard way. So round about how long would you have to wait? How many months? Oh, only about four weeks, I suppose, four or five weeks, depends so on how much humidity is around. A month, month and a half. Oh, it might, it might only be a couple of weeks if it's yeah. really, really hot, you know, and it's it good dry. drying conditions. Yeah. So if you've got a bit of humidity around, it might take a bit longer to dry out. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I, as you can see, they're beautiful decorative cobs. Um, even in a dry arrangement, they're quite pretty. So um, I've got... Uh, other varieties here, you've got these um, golf ball popcorn. I've got the seeds through a, a catalogue, a, a mail order catalogue uh, from Melbourne. So what I've, I'm going to do is pop one of these larger ones. Uh, yeah, one of those. And I'll put the uh, saucepan on to about half, half in, uh, on our stove. I'll put a bit of olive oil in the bottom of the saucepan. And uh, generally, by the time you take the seeds off, it's ready to um, start popping. So we just uh, take the seeds off, just start off with one, and then the rest just follow. I, I guess it's fair to say that any any seeds that you obtain to pop for popping corn, you could probably grow any sort of uh, any variety of popping corn. If you can, uh, you know, any seeds you buy from the store to pop, you'd probably find that grow. And you grow them much the same as you do corn, about the same spacing, and, um, and you grow them in a block the same as you do corn, so you get good pollination. And, uh, well, the yeah. first popcorn we ever grew was from seeds just um, popping corn we bought at the supermarket. It was, yeah, just for the kids. And uh, that was a bit of a novelty for us. And so uh, you just you, you don't harvest this corn until the uh, husk is pretty well gone yellow. A bit different to sweet corn. So uh, I'll just uh, just do a test on the sauce. But if you want to come a bit closer there, well, I'll just what you're looking for is that the start to sizzle. So it hasn't started doing that yet. So you can turn it off and come back. Yeah, the first seed we put in there starting to sizzle a bit. I'll put another one in there. It's sort of got that nice little sizzling. So what I'll do is I'll put the whole lot in there and uh, just just move it around a bit. Just put the lid on and uh, just move it around. Get a bit of heat onto it. And uh, maybe we can come back and it starts popping. Okay, so we're still here waiting. Hasn't taken, we haven't been very long waiting. It's just starting to pop now. Pretty, pretty exciting when this happens. I think it's good when kids are here and you can. Um, kids always love it, children always love it when you bring out a, a cob of corn and you pop it. And, 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 and they, they like the fact that it came out of the garden. Ready. Turn the heat off so it doesn't burn. You don't want it to burn. So I'm just going to move it around. Make sure. So, so it just uh, shows you what we got out of that one cob. I've got that glass bowl. It's just about full. So there's about three or four in there that didn't pop. So that just shows you. So what we do is put a bit of uh, icing sugar or a bit of salt and honey on it. Uh, nice little feed of popcorn there out of one of those cods. 
It yeah. always amazes me how that blue popping corn comes out so beautiful pristine white. Yeah, beautiful and white. And uh, the hard bits are, aren't real hard at all. It's very easy to eat. It's nice with a bit of um, custard or a bit of yogurt as well. It sort of goes well. Okay, well thanks very much for that. I'll, I'll catch you later. Bye.